Do you ever feel like your business is struggling when everyone else seems to be having success? That you look around maybe on Facebook and you see people having hat trick days and people having such a great business and a great life and you're wondering when is it my turn? When will I get some of that success? Well in this video I want to share with you that if you're comparing yourself to others there's nothing wrong with doing that but there is a right way to do a comparison. Not long ago, a friend of mine reached out to me and he said, you know, my business is struggling right now and I don't know how I can keep this going. He was discouraged and he was distracted by seeing everyone else's apparent success compared to his current struggle. And he just needed some encouragement. Well, in that conversation with him, I reminded him that life is like a story. Your life is a story. And sometimes we see someone on chapter seven of their story and we're on chapter two of ours and we wonder how come they have what they have and I don't have it yet. You know, I reminded him that one of my favorite movies, the movie Rocky, there are scenes in that movie that if you were to pause or stop the movie, if you were to walk out at the point when Rocky Balboa is on the mat, knocked down, you'd say that dude sucks, what a failure. You have to watch the whole movie. You have to allow the scene to continue. And I find that salespeople do this too often. They look at somebody who is on chapter seven of their story compared to your chapter two and wonder why not me? When is it gonna be my turn? I wanna encourage you. It is perfectly acceptable to compare yourself to other people, but you have to do it in the proper context. You have to look at where you're at and what you've done so far to build the business or to take care of the customer or to create the opportunities. And when you see someone else having success rather than being discouraged by their success and saying, how come not me? Instead, why don't you look for, for a modeling opportunity? What are the things they've developed, the habits, the patterns, the behaviors, the ways of thinking? What are they doing to create their success and model after them? After all, success leaves clues. Don't be discouraged by the success you see on Facebook or the salesperson who's got a hat trick day. Your story is still in motion and your success is right around the corner. So just remember, your story's not over yet. It's not finished. You may be only on chapter two, but the story's still being written and you can change the ending. <laughs>